What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon Coin back and it is May 15th, 2018 and this is your daily mining hash rates video. Um, it's looking like everything went down, not only value but also the amount that we were mining. Um, so let's see here, we'll start off with the GT 1030 2GB, we previously were mining 37 cents a day per card, now it has went down to 34 cents a day on Ravencoin. The GTX 1052 gig was mining 66 cents a day per card. Now per card it's only making 59 cents a day. The 1050 Ti was at 84 and now it's at 76 cents. The 1066 gig mining Ethereum was at $1.18 and it went down to $1.12. Uh, the GTX 1070 is still not here yet but I'm super excited because it's supposed to be here within the next like four or five business days so look out for that. I'm super, super pumped. Uh, the GTX 1088 gig went from 245 down to 219 a day per card. That was a huge drop. Uh, the RX 564 gig went from 77 cents to 73 cents. Not a huge drop there. The RX 580 went from $1.70 to $1.62. So everything went down. But um, yeah, I'm I'm still enjoying mining and I'm looking forward to my next build. I think I have decided on. This motherboard right here, the Gigabyte GA Z270P D3, it's the one that has three full-size PCI slots on it. So I can buy this motherboard, buy RAM and a CPU, and slam three graphics cards in it right off the bat. That's probably going to be my like the quickest option to get up and running. Uh, and then I can worry about doing risers later on once I get more cards. Uh, and the CPU I'm going to go with is the... G3900 right here. They have a deal on them like 37 bucks. Comes with a cooler and a CPU uh, retail packaging. So always, always appreciate that. Um, oh, let me go back and some people are asking me to compare what uh, what NiceHash is making compared to straight mining. So let's see here. The GT1030. Let's see what it compares to mining Ravencoin. Getting 7.7 .7 mega hash on Lyra 2 rev, 7.8. That's about consistent with the the top end. So it's making 26 cents a day as compared to 34 cents a day on Ravencoin. So that went down also. Now let's see the GTX 1080. I need to put like one of each card in this rig for nice hash just to be able to compare it. Uh, what are we on? Equa hash. We can get some more hash rate than that. It usually goes up in the 500s. There it is. 520. Let's see if we get a little bit more than that. 518. So we set it out to $1.77 a day. I'll, I'll, I'll round it off to $1.80. Nowhere near that $2 and almost 20 cents. So Ravencoin's still dominating profitability compared to Nice Hash. Uh, you do have to figure that, you know, Ravencoin, there is some volatility in there. And you still have to convert it over to get it, you know, to get your fiat out. Um, so there is some transfer fees there. But if you're looking to hold, it looks like Ravencoin may be a better option than just straight mining through NiceHash. Uh, now let's stop that. And I have the 1050 Ti. It's probably going to throw this card right on to dual mining Ethereum and Decred. It seems like this card for some reason. Yep, there it is. It loves doing that. So that takes a minute to uh, spin up. I'll try not to forget it. Um, and we'll we'll check back on that here in a minute. While we're doing that, let's go over to the Brandon Coin Reddit. And if you want to get your rig featured at the end of a daily mining hash rate video, put it in the Reddit, and yeah, um, I'll try to feature it. If I haven't clicked on one before, I always try to find it. And um, yeah, so if yours is getting old, try to you know repost and bump it up to the top, and I'll try to find it again. But let's find one for today. Um, cooling help, GPUs, this is by J Johnson 78 he's got RX 550s, let's check it out, I always like somebody trying something different, so he's got four RX, Asus RX 550s getting 13.4 mega hash, one Strix RX 560, 12.6 mega hash. Two XFX RX 560s, 14.1 mega hash, all 4 gigabyte models. And one Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580, 8 gig, getting 31.2 mega hash. Woo! 
full in 125 mega hash on dagger Hashimoto slash nice hash. We're running a Biostar TB250 BTC motherboard, M.2 to PCI adapter, and four PCI splitter using three ports, two slots left for 580s. So yeah, that, that Sapphire Plus right there, I have one of those. Mine runs at like 31 mega hash, and I don't even have a BIOS mod on it. It's these, these cards, these Sapphire Nitro Pluses are monsters. Um, those little 550s, they look so cute. Uh, the, as for the 560s, I have one of the XFX cards. They seem to be decent. Um, and he also says, by the way, I have a strict 564 gigabyte for sale. So, um, thank you for sharing that with us, Jay Johnson 78 I really do appreciate it. And I did want to say, guys, um, uh, over on the Discord, if you want to jump, uh, the link will be down below in the description. Uh, we have a new, like, community Discord set up between me and Spartan Mining, and, uh, we're inviting some other YouTubers, Fly Guy Mining's in there, um, uh, Bit Truth is in there. And we're uh, assigning a YouTuber role for you know any approved YouTubers, mining YouTubers especially, if they want to join up and kind of like partner up. And uh, we're just trying to have like a, a community mining-based Discord. Uh, we have a for sale section. We have like some crypto trading section. Um, those are still pretty new, but uh, we have some good cards up there for some decent deals. Uh, just make sure to when you join, just take a look at the rules. We had some people you know break those, and we're trying to really stick to them but uh, please come join us and in the general section we kind of just talk about a little bit of everything um, you know crypto seems to bring the community seems to bring together like people from all walks of life and it's always it's always fun talking to new people so come on in there join us and um, yeah so I'll see you in the discord I'm gonna jump on there and I'm trying to be I'm trying to be more active so if you're watching this and you are in the discord um, just comment down below and tell me like yeah you've been more active or no nah, man you're horrible you're never there blah 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 just so I can kind of get a little bit of feedback but I do live in Eastern Standard Time East Coast of the US so just note that if you're like on the other side of the world like Australia we may be on different time zones so you may not see me as much but uh, I did want to say thank you guys for watching and ooh, I almost forgot it I almost forgot it let's see here the GTX 1050 Ti on Dagger Hashimoto getting 12.4 and 298 on Decred and Dagger getting 65 cents a day as compared to 76 cents a day on Ravencoin. So uh, Ravencoin beats out Nice Hash every way you slice it, uh, other than transfer fees. If you're going to, to Coinbase, you get a free transfer fee on Nice Hash. Just, you know, still got to pay your mining fee, but no transfer fee. But thank you guys for watching. I need to quit rambling or I'll never stop. So adios.